fantastic unit that I've found will allow me to be able to teach agricultural studies to students in year seven with having the confidence to be able to go out there, know what I'm going to teach and give the students that sense of pride of where their food comes from and how it's produced. This is the first time I've actually had a real good close look at a unit from the primary industries and I've really enjoyed it so it does open up the opportunities for me to really get in there and, and use some of it for next year. Because I'm first year out and I really haven't had any experience to agriculture, this has really helped me to, to see that there is opportunity to give a broad range of different topics, integrate a curriculum and a, using a unit that flows really nicely through from your geography through to even history, mathematics, ICT and English. It's very important to have it aligned with the Australian curriculum. It's much easier to be able to tick off those little boxes when you're going through to do reports because it's all there and it's integrated with a lot of different other curriculum areas. Things like literacy, it looks at grammar and also um, comprehension. It, ties in with ICT really nicely. Um, the students get to explore using Google Earth and search their area in Australia but also other places to see what type of producing was done in those areas and how water was really important. I never thought of using Google Earth in that way and it also has a really great explanation at the start of each worksheet or each section to give the teacher a outline of what's happening and then a way to explain that to the students and give them a bit of an aim of what they're going to be learning. So today we're going to be looking at resources and cutting out the different resources and putting them in our three categories which are renewable, non-renewable and continuous. So we're going to have a look at a YouTube clip first to see what type of resources there are in Australia and how farmers use these. I think it it really helps having that um, overview first and looking at what you're going to cover in those sections of lessons. Having that aim and having it all aligned to the Australian curriculum really helps. And there's also different resources on there that they have to search through the websites and find information to actually fill in the gaps in different worksheets. So it was really handy. The Year 7s will be able to work with it very easily. It's easy to be adapted for students with IEPs, but it also have it has extensions, which is really handy for some of my students that do need that extension work because they get work done very fast. Around here it's really just the wineries and some small crops and, and some cattle, but I think this unit gives them an array of different areas, so like looking at rice and cotton and and things that maybe they didn't think of, and also fisheries as well, which I'm sure they've never actually thought of. So um, using, using this unit, they can actually get a wider sense of what's around and give them an opportunity to see what's in the future for them if they decide to go down the farming path. 